Auntie YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. It's time for the big hair, the curls, and the scoop. It's our cute not knowing, and now we're going to know. But first, what do we do? We give the hug because you never know who's going to need. I got to tell you, the more this hair is teased up. <laughs> see, I love big hair. So, I love big hair. And, that, and that's the only explanation I'm going to give. Chris Brown is on a fabulous tour. But things didn't go quite so well in New Jersey. Um, of course, he's dancing and performing. And there's one part of the concert where he's in the air. Well, he got stuck in the air. And he was very mad at the crew members. Because I guess he figured, y'all got me stuck in the air? Yes, Chris Brown was stuck in the air. But he got down. And he's continuing on with the tour. G Gail King has started wearing a Oprah is Fine t-shirt after the brouhaha that she started telling everybody that Oprah had a stomach bug. It was coming out from everywhere. She was dehydrated. She had to go to the emergency room. It was a little too much because then everyone panicked and immediately tied it to Ozempic because she admitted five months ago that she is losing the weight loss drug. But it was really funny, Gail walking around with an Oprah is Fine t-shirt. This particular season of Bridgerton, the last episodes aired, and you're not going to get another Bridgerton for two more years. It's because it takes eight months to film. Then they got to go editing. Then they got to go promoting. So you're going to wait a while. But I was reading an article, and it says, is Bridgerton losing its steam. When it first came out during the pandemic, it was something new. It was excited. It was like, Shonda Rhimes, what are you doing? And it became this sensation. But then as subsequent seasons came, that hype wasn't surrounding it. And now that fans are finding out, oh, I'm going to wait another two years for this. Yes, you got to wait another two years for Bridgerton. But your thoughts? Is it still the hype? Is it still the frenzy? Do you still watch it? These latest installments, the 11 minute sex scene, which some people said was just too shocking. Some people were pleased. Your thoughts? Leave them below. We are heading into the Tony Awards this weekend. And will it be a big night for Alicia Keys? Her musical, Hell's Kitchen is nominated for a Tony Award for Best Musical. And will it be a great night for Philly native and Tony Award winner already for Hamilton, Leslie Odom Jr.? He's nominated for Best Actor in the Revival for Pearly Victorious. Essence Magazine, they're acknowledging 30 years of Essence Fest and they're doing this love letter to New Orleans. Well, they're also doing a love letter to Frankie Beverly, who this year is hanging up his hat and retiring. For many years, Frankie Beverly was the closing act for Essence Fest, and that's how it went. And then he was replaced, but this year, as they close out Essence Fest, it will be Frankie Beverly making an appearance on the stage. The pictures are great, giving him his acknowledgement for many of us, Frankie Beverly, just a part of the culture, which is like being part of the family. I played his records for so many years. We're having two big shows here in Philadelphia, and I'll be sharing a lot of the highlights. But this tribute that Essence puts together is very, very nice. We are one week from Summer Solstice, longest day of the year. And then, wait. It starts going back second by second. And wait, once the 4th of July is over, you're going to start seeing school supplies um, on sale. It, they rush the seasons. They really do. Al Renner Reynolds, the famous ex-husband of Star Jones, came out as bisexual in 2017. Well, he had married Star years before. And he was doing an interview, I believe it was on Fox Soul. I just saw my girl, Lunell, who went there and wanted to know, did Star Jones know that he was, I don't know, gay or bisexual when they got married? Al said he has always been honest with anyone he's been in a relationship about who he is. There was such a brouhaha when Star, because that's when 
I guess she was at a different point of her life because she's much nicer. I interviewed her a few years ago. Much nicer, not not all the craziness of the view because, you know, she didn't tell the truth about her weight loss in the beginning. This was way before Olympic. This is when you went through the gastric. And it was such a brouhaha. And it was like everyone could see it but her. And it's like she just wanted to be married. She didn't care. It's a man standing up here. And I'm getting married. It kind of like blew back in her face. Because I think it led to her, them asking her to leave the view. Because it just became a spectacle. But Al Reynolds has, has moved on. He's on Fox Soul doing his thing. But Lunell, you were hysterical asking him that question. And Al answered it in his own way. Red Lobster, they've declared bankruptcy, which is just getting the creditors off your back. They still go on. They realize the era of their ways. Expanding too soon. All those shrimp fees for fee. You know, people showed up in the morning, staying until they closed, just eating shrimp all day. And the new marketing campaign, they're teaming up with rapper Flavor Flav. Crab Feast is on, and Flav is all in it, helping because he said he is determined to save Red Lobster. Flavor Flav is starring in the new Crab Feast campaign. Y'all know I like Tiffany Haddish. I know a lot of y'all said, I heard that song. I like Patty. We can agree to disagree. I never said it was a great song, but it's a great message. Because you can have been at a point in your life when a breakup, losing a job, just falling on, you know, life be life and it knocks you down. But it's a song about getting back up after you get knocked down. You can't stay in bed all day. Can't eat ice cream all day. Can't just give up your life. You can't. And it's called Woman Up. And it's a great message. Don Lemon, I'm going to text him. Of course, he's got his thing now that he left CNN and you can catch him on YouTube and things like that. But I read this headline that says he's going to join a reality TV show talking about his journey of becoming a dad. For some reason, I don't believe it. I'm going to ask him. I'm like, are you doing reality TV now? Only because you don't want to hurt yourself as a serious journalist got to be careful, especially when you delve into reality TV, but I'm going to have an answer tomorrow. And the Jackson family, they still can't get access to their money. The IRS has stepped in and said, as long as this estate, the Michael Jackson estate, owes us money, y'all not getting anything. Who's paying the bills? Does Janet have to like send them money? We're talking Mama Catherine, his kids, can't nobody get money. And y'all know how the IRS can be. IRS by saying we can't get our money, you can't get your money. I'm sure maybe the other kids, I think it, it's probably just Janet, who is like paying the bills and just making sure as they're cut off, but maybe the Jackson family will, this will be cleared up soon. IRS gets their money and they can get their money. Hit that notification bell. So I got to get the lingo right. Hit that notification bell so that you know that I'm here and it'll come up when a new video pops up. I always ask a ton of questions because I want to hear from you. So leave your comments in the comment section. Give us a thumbs up and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell their friends and they'll tell their friends to subscribe to the channel because the hair is big, it's curls, it's scoop, I'm making laugh. There's advice. It's like a whole bunch of stuff that just goes on. It's not cute not knowing. And now you know. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.